is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have another fantasy booking video for you guys and it's going to be sort of a bonus here we're going to fantasy book two different things in this video you guys typically know i just fantasy book typically one thing but today i have two of them and those two things are not only the demon king finn balor versus the undertaker but also Sami Zayn's return so both of these things are going to be fantasy booked here today wrestlemania 35 coming very soon, literally like two and a half weeks away. I'm very excited for it. It is going to be an absurdly long show, and with that long show comes some matchups, which we're going to cover a couple here today, which uh, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. So everybody knows right now that Bobby Lashley is tied up with Finn Balor and the Intercontinental Championship. Guys, I really do not know why they put the championship on Bobby Lashley. Like, it literally makes zero sense to me. As you guys know, last Monday, this past Monday, Monday, two days ago that Finn Balor had a mystery partner on Monday Night Raw and it was a tag team match Finn Balor and a mystery partner taking on Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush everyone and their mom thought this thing was going to be Sami Zayn like I, I thought it was going to be Sami Zayn I thought it would make perfect sense and I thought this was going to transition Finn Balor away from the Intercontinental Championship and into something bigger hence the dead man but that is not what took place they did typical WWE booking typical WWE uncreative, typical WWE awfulness, and they brought out Jan Strowman to the ring to be Finn's partner, and of course they did defeat Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush, but it was just just, just not nothing exciting, man. We're supposed to be on the road to WrestleMania. We're supposed to be, you know, getting towards the good stuff, and it's the same typical raw garbage with Braun Strowman teaming up with Finn Balor. I don't know why they didn't bring back Sammy. I think, legitimately, I know that my fantasy booking idea is coming in just a couple of seconds, but but I think that they're going to save Sami Zayn for the Monday Night Raw or SmackDown Live after WrestleMania. That's just the way it's going to go. But anyways, getting back to my stuff. As we know, that is what happened on Monday Night Raw. As far as my fantasy booking goes, we're going to go back a week. We're going to start off at March 18th, which I do believe that is the night that Bobby Lashley defeated Finn Balor. So the night that we have the rematch, even though we clearly said there were no rematches, you know, it's WWE. They got to just take back everything they said, insult the audience's intelligence and make us feel like a bunch of morons. But here we go. All right, so we're, we have our Intercontinental Championship, Finn Balor versus Bobby Lashley. And I guess you could have the same exact match except for the ending. The ending would not consist of Leo Rush. It would consist of the lights flickering. So the lights would start to flicker, maybe have like a bell tone or something like that. And we come back up and Finn Balor is laid out. Like everybody's just confused. Finn Balor is totally laid out. And Bobby Lashley's confused. Leo Rush is confused. Everybody's just sort of standing around like, what the hell happened to Finn Balor? So he just goes for the cover, one, two, three, that's it. So what happens is the next week, you know, Finn Balor, he loses due to the, you know, the interference. Nobody knows what's happening. Maybe a lot of people probably figure it's Undertaker or whatever from the bell tones. You even got to include the bell tones. You just have the lights go out, Finn Balor's down, and he loses. Okay, so now we're in the same exact situation this past Monday night. Finn Balor, uh, you can do your Braun Strowman bullcrap if you want. I mean, it really doesn't matter. I guess you could leave that part out. Uh, you, you don't have to book that matchup. But anyways, Bobby Lash is your Intercontinental Champion. He comes out, and Finn comes out. You know, he cuts a promo saying, you know, th this is bullcrap. Bobby, I know you had something to do with that. Who did you hire to take me out? This is absolute trash. Uh, you, you know, you cheated. You cost me. I know you had something to do with this. There's no way. I was standing in the middle of the ring. The lights go out. Out, and I, that's the last thing I remember. So he calls out Bobby for whatever, and he wants another matchup with Bobby, maybe even a handicap match with Leo Rush as well. So they do this thing, and it happens again. The, the same thing happens again. The lights go out. This time we know it's The Undertaker, guys. He he comes out. Maybe he could even show his face, maybe. Uh, maybe the lights go out. The bell toll goes again. And the lights come up. And Undertaker is standing in the middle of the ring or outside the ring or on the ramp. Maybe some a coffin or maybe something to distract Finn Balor. Bobby Lashley wins again. So Bobby Lashley beats Finn Balor again or Leo Rush, whatever, in the handicap match. They defeat Finn Balor again. And Finn Balor is defeated once more and so we fast forward a week it's april 1st the the go home show for wrestlemania we're six days away you know it, whatever this is the go home show for monday night raw so all of your matches have to be booked up 
Finn Balor goes out to the ring and he's got his microphone and he cuts a seething promo and you know by this point he's fired up he's like he calls out the Undertaker he's like you know what dead man you cost me my Intercontinental Championship you cost me all this you did all this I want you at Wrestlemania and then the Undertaker the lights go out again he appears on the stage or he appears in Finn Balor's face and he says you think you and your demon are the most feared thing in WWE or World Wrestling Entertainment I'm here to prove you wrong the dead man will be and will always be the most feared thing in all of wrestling or all of professional wrestling or all of sports entertainment whatever he wants to say and they do a stare down and the matchup is booked Demon versus Undertaker, you know, the, the D Finn Balor says, you know what, I know that I'm going to need everything I have, so I'm going to have to go after my Demon, I'm going to have to call the Demon, I'm going to have to summon the Demon for this matchup, and the Undertaker, the whole reason he's attacking Finn is because that, you know, all, he's sick of hearing about this Demon, and he thinks that the Undertaker is still the most feared thing in WWE, but uh, the Demon sets out to prove that he is the most feared thing in WWE. So there's your matchup, Finn Balor versus Undertaker, so with that... We have our Demon vs. Deadman match for WrestleMania 35. And on this same night, Bobby Lashley would obviously be without an Intercontinental Championship opponent, right? So he would come down to the ring and he would say, well... Since freaking Finn Balor's taken up and I don't have anybody to think, I guess I won't have a matchup at WrestleMania. Or whatever you want to say, he could cut a promo saying, you know, having an open challenge or whatever. And boom, Sami Zayn's music would hit. I know it's not, it's very anticlimactic, but that's what you got. You got Finn Balor tied up with the dead man, so Sami Zayn would come out and he would be taking the place of Finn versus Bobby Trashley at WrestleMania. The same man, Bobby Lashley, is the one that put him on the shelf in kayfabe. You know, he did break his shoulder or both shoulders or something, and it was known at Money in the Bank that Bobby Trashley was the one that put him on the shelf. So, you know, Sami Zayn could come back and be like, you put me, you took away 10 months of my career, you took away 11 months of my career, and I'm going to show you, you son of a bitch. I'm going to take you out at WrestleMania. I'm going to win my first singles title. It's been way too damn long for me to not have a title. I haven't won a main roster title. I'm coming for that Intercontinental Championship. And then we would go on to Mania. The Demon would defeat Undertaker. Sami Zayn would defeat Bobby Trashley, win his first singles title on the main roster, have a freaking fun-filled 2019. Same thing for Finn Balor. And that is your fantasy booking of the Dead Man versus the Demon and the return of Sami Zayn for WrestleMania 35. And I would love to know down below, guys, what your thoughts are. I hope that was easy to follow. I tried to write down everything. That way I would get out everything that I wanted to mention. I know that it wasn't fully fleshed out, and I tried to go based off of what was happening in real life. Obviously, if it was completely fantasy booking, probably would have went an entirely different direction, but I do love the fantasy booking ideas. The fantasy booking videos are very fun. I love to do it. They're very uh, cool to write down some ideas and get some, get my creative blood flowing. You know, it, it kind of transitions over from the pick fed. If you guys enjoy any of the creative ideas that are going on over there, then you guys certainly probably enjoy the fantasy booking ideas when I bring it over to actual WWE. And um, I would love to know your thoughts down below, guys. What do you think about The Undertaker taking on Finn Balor? Did you like my fantasy booking idea? Are you ready for Sami Zayn's return? Do you think that his return there was pretty solid? I know that Sami Zayn's return was kind of overshadowed by the big bigger feud between the demon and the dead man, but I thought that it was a pretty solid effort as far as based off of what we have already been given, but like I said, I think that WWE is most definitely going to return Samuel Zayn after WrestleMania 35. It will be either Monday Night Raw or SmackDown Live. You know how they love to do it. Uh, whoever else is on the show, Bray Wyatt, he'll probably show up too, and Sami Zayn will show up. We'll probably see some other guys show up that are injured. I can't remember who all is injured. Maybe Lars Sullivan will be good to go by then. Maybe a few other things will happen, but I'm excited for Mania. I am. You know, it's the, it's the best time of the year. Uh, you wouldn't know it by watching WWE television, but that pretty much does it for today's fantasy booking idea, guys. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I'd love to know your thoughts on both ideas for Demon vs. Deadman and Sami Zayn's return. Comment down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.